I'm C.S. Gilmore. This is Into the Gloom. So, as you can probably tell, I decided to change things up a little bit and got up a bit early this morning to do this recording to get more into the horror spirit of this game. Also, notice that the continue, like this main screen here, is all red now, and there's it's a bit different. So, I think it adjusted to kind of represent the progress I've made so far. Alright, well now where am I? No, seriously, where am I? Oh, okay, I'm right back here. So, we learned last time that touching the glass is a good way to die. So, now we're going to try once again to get around here without touching things that I'd regret. And I had some thoughts on this whole setup as well. Looks like I have no choice but to touch the glass. That's... Oh! There's everything. Okay. Um, I don't know how that didn't get me right away. But uh, running away now. That's a lot of them. Oh dear. I'm not sure where they came from. They just kind of popped out of nowhere. Uh, that was bad. Um, but anyway, yeah, I wanted to get back into this and... Um, I was had some thoughts on... So in the last area, there was the red man that would hunt you down and grab you. I was thinking, what if... The red man is, in fact, a member of this dimension that's gone over into the, the gloom. I mean, he glows red, kind of like everything else in this, so the characters here are darker, so it is questionable. Alright, let's try this again. like red glow to him, kind of indicative of this dimension, and he makes a similar noise to these creatures when he comes after you. So I was wondering if maybe he's a member of, uh, like someone who got possessed by one of them. Perhaps he's the doctor, or like the doctor's assistant, Dr. Warner's assistant, since they appear to have both been in the gloom. And then they came here to explore. So I'm wondering if maybe one of them got possessed, went back to the gloom, and has then just been one of those things. Everything is too quiet. Great. Probably won't be for long. It's totally empty. Alright, I've got two stairways. Come on, go down this one. I don't know if it matters because I think they both go to the same place. This red tint to everything certainly throws it all into a different perspective. I hope you can hear me alright. I'm trying not to speak too loudly. I locked up this door with a key before those creatures did. Use this path only if you don't have any other choice. This way leads to the mall parking zone, which is very dark and a dangerous place. Anyway, you can find the key somewhere in this mini park. I hope your patience is enough to succeed. Someone. Alright. Seems I have no choice. I like how this game continues, like, it follows a very basic trend. You're, like, the controls are all the si very simple and everything, so it's easy to play. And the mechanics themselves are pretty straightforward. Oh, one second. Hello, mysterious traveler. Thanks for having the bravery to come till this point. I'll be quick. 
Time here is running. If you don't have a shelter with a light source during the night, you will be consumed by the agents. That means disappearing forever. These beings live in darkest places. They are skilled hunters, usually work in team and ambush their preys. Their favorite hiding places are the ventilation vents around the building since these allow fast travel to all locations in a completely dark environment. They will hide from light, for it is the only thing that can kill them. I'll be leaving flags along my path. Follow them till you reach my position. My next target will be the back side of the mall. You will have to make your way through s since the agents will be locking the doors all the time and preparing dead ends for their prey. Good luck, and be as fast as you can. Dr. Warren. P.S. If you're Marcus, stop looking for the device and do the same. Follow the flags, otherwise you'll die out there. Someone will come to rescue us eventually. Okay, so it sounds like Dr. Warren's pressed on further into this place. And kind of learned how to deal with things. While his assistant lost the device. So, I wonder if that means they are both trapped in this dimension right now because they lost their teleportation device. Maybe one teleportation device works for everyone. Either way, so long as they're in proximity or something, but... So it sounds like they're in quite a predicament. I've got to find this key. Somewhere in the mini park. So... It's probably... Over here. The question is... Where? Especially considering how easily some of these items blend in. Ah, there we are. Haha, found you. Still blended in really well because that rock kept turning to block it. There we go. Ah, I lost my train of thought. Where was I going with this? I, I had a thought before I picked up that last note. Um. Well, that's an unpleasant sound. But anyway, yeah, I wonder if the red man may be a creature from this dimension, which is why he's all into torturing people and whatnot. That was definitely a human? I qu highly question that. That did not sound all that human to me. Then again, I don't know. So these creatures hunt in the dark. Where the 
gate control is now. <sighs> Alright. So, at least they don't kill me instantly. They have to, like, kind of capture me and suck the life out of me, like vampires. Or, well, actually, it's more like a actual sucking, so I'm guessing it's more like, it's more like ring wraiths. Kind of, or, uh... Would it be ring wraiths? No, I'm thinking the wrong movie. I think Lord of the Rings, I mean... Kind of like, uh... What do you call it? Control elsewhere, so I'm betting once I pull this lever, I can't go back once the light goes out. But, um, the. They're kind of like, uh. Can't think of the word for them. Uh. The creatures that guard Azkaban in Harry Potter. They. Ah, I did it again. Da, da, da. Left, first, right. Yeah, easy enough. I just took the wrong turn. But, anyway, they're kind of like those creatures. They just suck the life out of you. It sounds, or it seems like, anyway. But, not nice. Not nice at all. Okay, running. Button. And I am out of here. Peace, guys. There, I hear them coming. I'll read it later. Yeah, so much later. Hopefully this is the right door and not the one I don't want to go in. If anything, it got me away from those things for... Nope, must keep going. Okay, so this is the way to go. Um, inventory. Nope, then. Assistant tasks. To-do list. Recover the relocation device. Measure the air composition in several places during the trip and make a final summary. Draw a map of the area and keep track of the coordinates of strategic places. If the camera works here, make a recording about interesting topics of this place to keep as a backup as as a backup evidence. Other tasks. Warren needs his old notes to keep on going with the investigation. I must go to his old apartment in the city and bring them back. The apartment number is two five. And the keypad code is 485. Oh, this is for, uh, this is the, my, this is my apartment building where I was in before, right before encountering the Red Man, and that was uh, one door with the keypad. Rescue operation number two. We need to plan a new route to distract the corrupted while one of us goes to the chambers and releases more prisoners. So, I'm guessing the corrupted are those black things that were hunting me? And there are prisoners. Um, so it sounds like this dimension is a interesting place. I wonder if this is c connected to the other dimension. So like whether I'll be going to this in that dimension, or uh, in this dimension, or whether I'll go back there at some point. Either way, I'm gonna write down the code two five and then four eight five. Just go write that down real quick because. Yeah, just in case. Maybe I have to start a new game to go there. Uh, two, five, four, eight, five. Okay. That's written down. Ah, but Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <sighs> well, and now we know that stuff does not freeze while you're reading notes. Remember that for the future. Okay. Uh, hi, Red Man. Anyway, I'm making progress now, at least. The question is, where am I going? in the world am I going? Apparently, those guys are coming. Lock is broken. Alright, probably have to go down there. Ow! The whole fence is electrified. That's nice. Note to self, do not touch it. Haha, <laughs> I 
think I just got it undone. That's awesome. I got it undone pretty well there. It's jammed. Excellent. I guess I had to also because... Alright. I'm going to just close that. I don't know if it'll do me any good, but I'm closing it. Okay. Anything of interest? It's getting dark, which means happy, joyful people are coming to kill me. Is there anything here? It appears to be locked. Water service. Found the water service key. I found the service key. It was in the truck right under the driver's seat. You need to be more careful next time, guys. We won't allow this delay for, for our service. Your employee condition depend on the quality of your service. This is not just a warning. If the event repeats again, you will both be fired. The supervisor. Um, right, that's strange. I don't know what to make of that. So, I guess I need to go in here. Pointless, I need to hurry it up. To hurry up. Okay, I can't go forward. I'm guessing waiting till day is pointless. Oh dear. Looks like I'm in a bit of a maze. Ah, that's them coming for me. Great. Or if this is a prisoner place. Here, a bunch of banging. Oh, bother. This is a dead end. I'm trapped. cut this episode here kind of ways into it definitely got in some distance into exploring um i'll pick this up in the next episode so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it leave a comment below hit like hit subscribe and come back for more videos bye